Island of Terror, Tier 2 Fastest Dungeon Completion and Kataki Boss Mechanics Explained. In the first part, the tank needs to lead the team to the right treasure. This is an item like the flower on Zoradoma Island that the rest of the party can interact with at the same time. You will then fight the same style of mini boss as in the one star dungeon and if he goes invisible you can uncover him by using a flower. Behind the gate you will then kill both reptilian on the left side close to the merchant, then you sneak to the next mini boss not accruing other mobs. This mini boss also has same mechanics as one star so you just make sure to jump when the wave is coming. Then you again sneak past all mobs until the next mini boss and here your party will receive heavy AOE damage if you're not luring the mini boss into the pillars so he can destroy them. Easiest way to do so is just upgrade next to a pillar and fight right there. Congrats, you've made it to the final boss. And unlock the Black Friday sale on Starforge systems where you can get up to $400 off your next gaming PC. Use the link in the description and don't let hardware hold back your performance. Kataki always starts out with his red move turning everyone into a red while having a spinning AOE around himself. You want to always stay inside of his circle and once he charges, you will press 1 and bury yourself. Once enough people from your party did this successfully, the AOE will be lifted, you can unbury yourself and transform into a human by running through the blue flower. Next up, he will mark players and launch a bomb on them exploding in the cross shape soon after. After, so stay moving during this phase. After the bomb detonated, a blue fire will be left on the ground. Run through it and then uncover the fog. Do this phase efficiently, the party leader should mark the geyser locations prior, so everyone knows where to go in the fog phase. Then after one fury attack, one of the geysers will start bubbling, so keep your eyes open immediately and then move on to the geyser. The geyser will lift you into the air, you will transform into a hawk to not take any fall damage. If the boss is already below 50% HP at this stage, you will have to do the mechanic twice. Now good job, you defeated Kartaki and can loot his chest for 450 dungeon tokens. And as we all know, people that are subscribed to the channel have higher drop rates, so what are you waiting for? And if you still have any other questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys.